sorry, Sarah, but you're hurt, and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to... You disobeyed my orders. We're on a mission. Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting yourself and the mission at risk. I'm your commander now. Do, do you understand? Do you understand, Kathy? Yes, I copy. Going out on your own is completely reckless. You've taken the only functional rover, so if anything happens, you'll be on your own. You're right. If you see any signs of life, come right back. Okay? I will. Be safe and stay in touch. I just can't be in the same room as those people anymore right now. With the guns and all. If anything happens, they will shoot my dad. They will shoot anybody. I'm caught in between. I don't think I hate my dad. I, I still love my dad very much. Even though he did horrible things from Earth's point of view. But I don't think I can let him potentially just die. But we didn't take a gun, we just sort of- Oh! Never mind. You gotta dump- wait. Kathy, don't throw it out. You're just gonna hide it, right? Don't throw it out, okay? We might need it sometime. Kathy? What if the colonists have guns? What if they try to shoot us? We do need some kind of a weapon as a backup. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know if they have a plan C. Sarah, I just arrived. What do you see? Cable car? I don't really see any signs of life from here. The facility seems abandoned and pretty beaten up. Like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. There's gotta be something here. I'm surprised it wouldn't immediately make me come right back. Dude, it was like a fiery desert yesterday. Now it's icy cold. Is that light, Ula? Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. I better find a way down to make it across the ice. Icy cold. Oh man. When Sarah finds out, there will be hell to pay. But we did it already. And there's nothing she can do about it. I think... Kathy understands that very well too. The sun? Find a way down. Well, I'm not taking that... Cable car thingy. Do you want me to drive down? Or is it a... Can we go down from here somewhere? Oh, what, here? I might actually rather take my chances with the cable car. Oh man. This okay? Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Kathy. Oh, it's this business again. Good thing these picks work everywhere. I'm gonna have to jump across, Ayla. Oh my gosh. That was close. Do you want to wrap around? Don't copy at home, kids. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just easier, you know? 
I appreciate all the attempts at realism, but sometimes, sometimes things just take too long. <laughs> oh, we don't even need the flashlight here. It's freaking bright and cold. Is my suit rated for that? Extreme heat and extreme cold? It's gotta be. Wait. This looks like an alternative path. With literally nothing? Cat, how are you getting on? The facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Could be their water processing facility. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing Ark. It's called Ark Vita. Isaacs. That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible bit. Apparently, Vita has a databank of millions of Earth's flora and fauna species. Many of them extinct. And it can recreate them. What? A bioprinter. A bioprinter? It has all the ingredients to create life. Wow. All those animals we've lost, vegetation we haven't seen for decades, we could bring it all back. But we can't find it. Its location isn't on any records. It, it just vanished. So if you find any information on its whereabouts, let us know. Copy that. There's all this incredible information. I write that down. Odom Cable Car. The cable car system used to transport people and big cargo by the looks of it. The place looks just as speed up as Herschel. Would this be a place survivors would hole up? All this stuff, the brightest minds from Earth, if they were on Earth, I feel like that would go a long way in trying to fix everything, but they thought that, or at least MacArthur thought that going to Mars was the only way. I don't think they directly intended on going to Mars, it's just that Mars was the most suitable place they found. What? What kind of machine is this? Not sure. Oh, let's be careful. I can't tell. Picture taking machine? Gotta go to the base. This is not the way to the base. The climates here are so extreme. Oh. Hey, someone left their pics here. Little tanks. Little bits of technology. Oh. Where did they all go? They had all this nice stuff built, but nobody here. Weren't they the ones who sent the distress signal? I really don't feel like they'll shoot us on sight or anything if they see us, but then again, I guess it is kind of unpredictable. Just don't know what's gonna happen. What'll happen if my dad sees me? No, that's it. The base, lights! But the previous bases were running with oxygen, too. So lights don't necessarily mean people. We didn't turn on the MPTs. We didn't alert anybody. We good? I'm trying to see if there's anything around, but my survival is important too. All right, we're here.
Hello? Empty. More lights. Ayla hole. Science lab? Nothing. No, we're going to the lights. Hello? Is that just outside? Complicated plans. Whatever Odom's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. All right. I wonder how the weather works here. Certain spots on Mars are just permanently this cold. Look, the frost on the pipes, my goodness. And then certain other spots are hot as a desert. Oh man, this looks... eerie. What's with the scratches? Are those of electrical damage on the locker? I don't like the looks of this. Electrical damage? Hold up. Lewis to Victoria, 2064. That's five years ago. They're really not even trying to hide it anymore. Just had three people get in the cart openly talking about the market, right in front of my face. No respect. You're the one with the badge, stop them. You are. You want my advice or not? They're being selfish, trading that stuff. It's really so spineless and no respect to the other people. If you don't report it, they could throw you in medical. You're right. Jesus, the whole ground just shook. Something happened at the main complex, I gotta go. Ooh, they have a... Like a whistleblowing culture. And not in a good way. Hmm. People are being pit against each other. Seems like they were growing food here too, by the looks of it. it says here these crops were all affected by unexpected mutations. Ah, they mentioned mutations at Odom in one of the earlier holograms. I think this is hydroponic farming gear. What's here? All emptied out, yet again. So this is what they were growing here. Rations? This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. Created their own little post-apocalypse economy. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Mass distributed, right along with the food. Wow. That about says everything already. Antidepressants given to you alongside the food. So I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. But most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time of the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. Will do. I'll keep sending sit reps. Yeah, Kathy, I feel like you should have brought a gun. I know things can get out of control quickly, 
when we have weapons, but I'd rather have a gun right now than not. You don't know what's gonna happen. Research. So close. <laughs> it was like, it's like, it's like just falling apart. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? <laughs> this convention in Amsterdam, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was Beat and Bows or something like Beat and Bows. Oh, such a silly name, it's so tasty. <laughs> I bet. <sighs> you know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. It is crazy. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's, you know, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us. All the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for him. You should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Well, uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? What, like you? Like you? <laughs> Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth, you know? Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um, think Kathy's okay? What? O of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, go to me for what she looks like. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what she's, what she's into. She was so, she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably- I really wanted her to be on that I really did. I just, she couldn't, and then I left her, you know? I just left to that. I mean, I left to I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, I'm a bad father. You're not I know, a I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. Yes, he person. is. I just left I left You're not a bad father, father. Isaac. You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. <laughs> just... I'm sorry, Kathy, but he was... He is a terrible father. He recognizes it. it okay. You know, <laughs> let's... Let's press on and find them. I'm fine, Ayla. Let's go. The whole making antidepressants thing is such a weird, smart person thing to do. Hey, instead of finding a way to make the people who are depressed happy, let's make medicine to avoid them thinking about being sad. Instead of treating the actual cause, they just choose to have antidepressants? Really? Lord. No. <laughs> it was like, it was like... I'm not even sure if... Let's say Isaac did get to bring Kathy, would he have been allowed? 
because it seems like nobody here was allowed to bring their families anyway. It's only the people who are qualified, and Kathy being a child definitely didn't qualify. But maybe because Isaac is so vital to everything here that they would have made an exception for him. I don't think it would have worked out well either way, though. People would be pretty resentful of that. Oh, look at all the icicles. They're all coming... They're all in the same direction. The wind's blowing from that way. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. This is insane. Oh. That's the old suit back from Moon, right? The non-Martian one. The one that Rolf wore. Don't know what this is. Dimethyl amino ethyl 1H indole 4 YL dihydrogen phosphate. <laughs> Bring it back to Ryan, maybe? Someone didn't care about cable management. Should jot that down. Fungi grow cabinets. This seems to be the place where they grew organic components for their self-made medication. This label reads Psilocyb semi lancetata. <laughs> Some kind of fungus. Yeah, guard of the facility discusses people taking the cable car to the market in Odom until he hears a loud boom. A market. That's under the table. Hold on, this looks like the way to go. What about the other way? Hold up. What about this way? Oh. Didn't come back for no reason. Paul to Anna. 2064. Is HW still on later? We had to push it to tomorrow, but yeah. 18.30 at Med Nursery. Rosa gonna be there? Yep, that's why we've postponed. She was tied up. Hey, just to be sure, you know it's hush-hush, right? Of course I know. See you then. Ooh, maybe like a homework thing? One day later? Where are you at? We're starting. Paul? You there? Well, he left his phone here. Should jot that down. Not sure if that's a good or bad sign. Two friends talking about where and when the meeting takes place, and if Rosa will be present too. Well, it's gotta be... Homeward. Okay... Still... Not a single soul in sight. Oh my gosh, what is this stuff? Oh. But the facility is still running. All by itself? Oh no! Oh no. What's happening down here? It's still mostly intact. Hmm. Destroyed heating coils. This coil seems to have been purposefully destroyed with great force. Who would do this to their own food and water supply? Easy to see that some dispute could have broken out between the people wanting to go home and the people wanting to stay. So far, it seems like the people wanting to stay, it's really just William. MacArthur. I haven't really seen any logs of other people wanting to stay here. But it could also just be because people who are discontent tend to talk a little bit more. Yeah. Let's go home. Outward. No.
William, you're hurting me. And you are hurting all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa, but... I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your bomb. words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all, but I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homewood more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical. A bomb. Sarah, that Homewood group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. Rosa's people? I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They use this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. It's just reckless. People at the end of their rope do desperate things to get what they want. I guess. They don't have anything to lose. dealing with a lot. After some of the Homewardians destroyed the heating coils, MacArthur demands Rosa to put a stop to her movement, but Rosa refuses. Who would leave their daughter? Dad and Rosa were having a good time, a, a good laugh, about food back on earth until my dad went to a dark place in his mind, calling himself a bad father, over and over. Yeah, he's not wrong. It's frustrating to see because you know, on Earth, we have such a small population of really gifted people, people who can really make a difference. And then here, we have the literally Earth's smartest people. And yet, neither of us are really getting anywhere. If only we combine our strengths, then maybe we could have saved Earth properly. Earth is our home. Hmm. No matter what they decide on, they've gotta... Gotta unite. If they don't unite... They're not getting anywhere. Through labor we grow. I don't know about that. So is that a map of the place? The cable cars, the facility. And then we can't go inside. Here. Is stream point like electricity? Because if so, we really shouldn't be. Playing around with it in water. Oh. There you go. Oh, there's so much going on here. Another one. We can bring this one... What are we seeing? There's a... Action prompt? At the top of my screen sometimes? Oh, it's... 
Oh, okay. It's just getting this thingy. Maintenance can save your life. Report any structural damage to the closest maintenance supervisor as soon as possible. It's your duty, they say. Okay, my goal is... My final goal is this one. There's this one, which opens up the shutters. And then there's also this one that opens up the shutters. No? Oh, there's one here as well. So we can open up those shutters immediately. No, we can't. Because that's too much. We have a splitter here. Surprisingly enough, after being drenched, all this stuff still works. Just put it down for now. Can you put it down? Shutter is open. Meaning we can point this... Where can we point this? Point this at this thingy? Which means that we can not use this one. This one is freed up. To do what? I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> mm. Are the shutters permanently open? I don't think so, right? Yeah, it came down again. That's not good. Mm. Oh, wait, this one has two beams though. Let's not forget about that. We can open this one as well. Right, so actually we can use the inner one to power the two doors and then free up the one on the other side. But in doing that, why do we want to free up that one? We want to open up this one because why? Because there's shutters here. Oh, hold up. Ah, I see. So we'll use this one to power instead. And then over here, because the shutters have opened up, we can just... Oh! Well, no, no, no. That's not the one we're trying to do. There's one... Yeah, the shutter opened, but that ain't it. It's not going to be that simple. Okay, I'm looking at this here. This one is designed to open this door so that this thingy slides out. This thingy is blocking me from reaching that right now. So what... Actually, we need the splitter inside here, probably, to begin with. Because we need it so that we can point this here. I need to get that container out of the way. Yes. Exactly. Right. Now we can get back to opening the shutters. Now with the container gone, it means I can point directly at the exit. Thank you. Okay, Ada. Let's go. This is flooded. Oh, we have oxygen for swimming? Apparently. Oh. Cut in emergency. I would say this is probably an emergency. Anything here? Santa to Bass, 2065. Happy Earthian New Year. I just wanted to send you a message again, but it took some time to come up with the right words to send you. I know I've been avoiding you in the living quarters a bit, and I'm sorry, but I had to get my mind straight on all this. I don't want to lose you, especially here and now, where we need each other the most. 
I really wanted to keep doing my best, but I feel like I've lost already. I've lost you to a force that I can't stop from happening, and it hurts me to see you like this. I can see flames in your eyes, and it's bleeding over into your heart. I don't know what to do. I see my brother's shell when I look at you, but not his spirit. I wish we wouldn't be so divided on a matter that is so important, yet is something so apart from our personal bond. We can't talk about this thing that's in between us as we drift further and further apart by it. I wish it was different. I wish we lived in a different place and a different time together. One where we didn't have to face this. One where we didn't feel hate towards each other. I hope that whatever happens, we make it through together. But I'm very uncertain if we actually will. I love you. Brother and sister? Probably one is an Outwardian, one is a Homewardian. Should jot that down. Yeah. Colonist's letter to his brother. Oh, two brothers. Who's getting more entrenched in the conflict. Ooh. There's a current. Ah! Oh, dang it. Timing. What's causing that periodic current? No, 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 no! Seriously? Oh my lord, the timing is so tight. Nothing here. It's just a stopgap. Because that one is the actual one. Go, 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 go. Oh, what are we cutting? Oh, we broke it. We're good? I think so. I don't know what we broke. Wasn't there supposed to be an increased oxygen signature here? Where are the people? This place looks even more abandoned than the previous facility. Well, you know what we say about elevators and emergencies. We don't use them. Anything around the corners? Kathy, are you any close to that signature? Oh my god. Hmm? Cat, do you copy? Shadows. Cat, do you still read me? Cat. You're not going to reply? Well, there's a few alive people in there. Kathy, you gotta... You have to work with your team, I'm worried about you. You should at least tell them that you're alive and well and okay. You don't have to mention the people part, right? Just... Don't let them worry. But she's so... she's young and... It might be her dad right there. And so in the moment, it's hard to... Um, hard to control. Is it someone we know? I is it anybody at all? Moment of truth. Elevator. <gasps> They're growing stuff here. 
This place seems... more alive. Moment of truth. Oh. Maybe it was a plant or something. Wow, it looked so organized in the previous room. Hmm. Yeah, it's wavering branches. can decrypt these holograms. I guess because she was originally my dad's and then, yeah, because only the Lunar Council can look at the holograms. Got my hopes up for nothing. This way. Come on. Oh my gosh. Are you messing with me? That ain't it. I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... Whoa! I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling. Intelligent, sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are and always will be too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. 
Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rose and I are good friends. The You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth. The whole reason why, as far as we know, why Isaac wanted to develop Mars was so that Kathy would be able to live on. But he, now he's doing all this on Mars while Kathy and Claire are on, are on Earth. So it kind of defeats the whole point of it. The colony is facing a lot of difficulties to stay afloat. MacArthur pressured my dad to pledge his allegiance to the cause and he complied. What can we say? I think if everyone was on the plan and they knew exactly what they were getting into, that would be better, but as it is, MacArthur basically kidnapped a bunch of people. Some of who are willing to do this, some of whom are not. And that's why we have this divide now. It's... I mean, you did this, really. Oh. I remember when he said that before. I don't give a damn about Earth. A literal broken home. Kathy, everything okay? Hey, you okay? You sure? You feel a bit cold, are you sure you're okay? Do you want to blanket or something? Hey, I'm a cure drink, okay? Are you okay? Sure, okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'll do it, I'll do it. Just... Please, tell me what the hell are you were thinking? You do not take a child to that sunken death trap in the bay. The WSA can teach her all that training. I'll just teach them myself. I know I don't trust them. Why well, don't trust you? Because my opinion counts for nothing anymore. I've lost cost custody, so I've lost the say in the matter. Because you simply appear back on Earth to take her, and that's that. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. We do things. I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. You just know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth. All I care about is her. And what about me, Dad? Oh, Claire. Oh, Claire. Oh, you know I love you. Talk is cheap. He is such a terrible father, I can't even. But Claire... He forced Claire to raise her like she's a parent. And then he just waltzes back and... Unilaterally decides, okay, Kathy is going to the moon. And that's the end of that. Ooh, how ominous, a rocket descending. 
Because uh, the picture got flipped up. What should we do, Cat? Sarah for Kathy, do you read me? I... I'm him. Jesus, Cat. You scared us. What happened? It must have been interference. I... Uh, I didn't get your calls. I found the signature. Wait, you went in with Oh, the plants. There's no one here. Just overgrown weeds and half-dead plants. We saw oxygen consumption occurring when the sun was setting, right? Vegetation actually uses up oxygen at night instead of producing it, so I guess that's what that was. Damn it. Alright. Cat, head back here and we'll try to figure out what to do. Sounds good. I can't believe they haven't realized the case is missing, though. It's been missing for quite a while now and I would I would normally hope that they would pay a little bit closer attention to something so important. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shiz. We have limited oxygen. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look around. You good cat? This place really wants me dead. We're fine. Hang in there. Ice caves. The temperatures are so extreme here. Ada, I'm okay. Don't worry. I think I fell into their drilling network. So there must be a way out of here. Meet me at the river. Oh, Ayla. Oh, we're like walkie talkieing Ayla. Ayla's not around. It's dark. Now we're actually gonna get some interference. We can't get any signals in the cave, I bet. Suddenly, Subnautica. What the hell? Oh, those are icicles. Kinda look like teeth or stalag tights? Stalagmites? One of those? Stalagmites. Oh, the current is carrying me a little bit. This water is freezing. Oh, you gotta go, cat. Oxygen's running out, too. Your suit is pretty lightweight. Why did you want to come on this mission so badly? What? Saving Earth never seemed like a priority. What changed? I'm a little busy, Sarah. She knows about the gun. What changed? Just answer me. Sarah, I need your help here in Living Quarters. ASAP, I, um... Might have found some Outwardians. What? Are you sure? Did they see you? I, um... I wouldn't worry about that. Oh no. Kathy, get back here as fast as you can. Measure that. Corpses. How do I... Oh! I gotta jump backwards somehow. I feel like they need some tutorial messages here. They never actually taught me that it's possible to do this. I only knew because I saw people complaining about this part beforehand. <laughs> but yeah, there's a- I feel like overall there's a bit of a lack of tutorials. Some things I knew just from playing the preview, but... Like stuff like Ayla going through the tunnel or... Stuff like that. Come on, Kathy. Oh my goodness. We gotta wrap around.
Now, if they found corpses, the next thing to wonder is, is my dad among them? I hope to God the answer is no. What's gonna happen? I can't even imagine what the reaction will be like if Sarah and I and dad were all in the same place. Where the heck am I? I lost the rover! Oh, yeah, it's over there. Can you get back up? Truncated. We're back. I've made it back inside. Where do you want me to go? We cleared the blockade for the elevator, so just take that up when you're ready. Copy that. How far did we go? Isn't it crazy that we're back in the deserts again? The transition between the icy, the iciness and the deserts would have been really cool to see. Should jot that down. Orrery. This model even shows Mars as the center of it all. MacArthur and Outward really seemed set on making this place a new origin point for humankind. Arbitrarily. Did you get the Panopticon opened up? Hold up. Oh. Uh, I just want to check the door on this side, if that's okay. Yeah, because it looks like it might be open, according to the light. Never mind. At least the elevator works. Which floor is living quarters? We climbed that earlier. too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. You waited for me? Is everything all right, Sarah? I don't know. They had to have known about the gun already by this point. How can they not? Alex, stop blocking Sarah. No blood. Her eyes are open too, that's scary. <gasps> or bodies. Security drones. I hate these things. Oh, we had some you back okay? in Moon too. Yeah. It's been years, I'm fine. But we should turn back, it's clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened, Imzadi. But we're easy targets now without... Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Okay, so they do know about the gun. Oh! Whoa! Sarah, my goodness. Maybe there's no blood because it's been a long time. Anything you can... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on that? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. The positioning of stuff around here, you can see tables being used as barricades. So these were probably the homeward people. Should jot that down. Security ASEs. MacArthur first commissioned these back on the moon. He pretended they were there to govern. Not soon after, he used them to take over the base and ensure there was no opposition to the blackout. Yeah, we saw these back on the moon as well. 
And there were also dead people on the moon? Because of this? Look at this. Howard by the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So... Oh. They're attacking outward instead of homeward. Oh! What's Sarah's deal with security ASCs? One attack on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and you know the rest. Right. Yeah, she got stranded on the moon for a long time. You see what some of them are holding, Ayla? Did these people barricade the entrance? Why would they block their own escape? Unless... they weren't trying to escape. Well, we're, we're establishing that these are the Outwardians, not the Homewardians. They wanted to stay here. Did that... door just open by itself? Automatic door? Let's be careful. What was that? I know that sound. Came from over there. Clearly an ASE. But friend or foe? We don't have a gun. Oh! Was that Ayla? No, that was some... That was another one. Dom de Rainer. 2062. Oi, bruv. That coffee went right through me. I'm taking care of business right now. Boom. Sweet, thanks for the play-by-play. -play. Do you know what they do to our waste? You want to have this conversation right now? While you're on the toilet? Yes, yes I do. No, I don't know. Out of behind, out of mind and all that? That is why you have a menial desk job and I get the cool gigs. I actually think about stuff. While you're taking a dump? Yes, now listen. They dehydrate the poop over at Vita and then send it over to Odom for compost. The cycle is amazing how you still sort of eat your own waste at the end of it all. How cool is that? I do not care at all. Now, if you would kindly forward me the weekly alloy stats, I can get on with my menial desk job. <laughs> Should jot that down. Two colonists discuss how they get rid of their business. Hello? Hologram. How are you alive? <gasps> oh my god. hemorrhages cyanosis they suffocated but there's oxygen in here everyone yeah both homeward and outward how we have to leave it's too dangerous too dangerous Sarah there's no one left we don't know that I mean look what they did to each other Sarah please calm down No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to or defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. <laughs> it 
Ayla detects holograms? Oh, Alex doesn't. Yeah? Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Not all of them. Only a couple. Play it. What? Play it. We didn't discuss the whole gun thing at all. But clearly she knows that the guns are gone. Oh, this one might be kind of brutal, depending on what we find. Ready? Oh, it's a really encrypted one. Hey, you know, back when we were talking about the mission to Mars, what was that moon bear transmission? We never talked about that again. Is that related to Ayla, do you think? Something about her specifically. You are all delusional if you think Mars will ever be safe for us. You destroyed Odom. It's unsafe here because of you. We need to go home to Earth. We can't stay here. Earth is a lost cause. Why don't you see that? I will not die without seeing my family again. People, people, please. Enough. Fighting like cornered animals. We are all better than that. Things here haven't been easy, but it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work. It's hardship we had foreseen. For those of you who wish to return with the Arks, what do you think Earth will do with them? Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? that don't get control. What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Ox and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! Doesn't explain how the people are dead here. My god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. I would agree. The ASCs, the attack on Odom. Rosa is just as culpable, don't you think? Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against him is completely 
completely justified. Doesn't that make her as much of a dictator as he was? She's imposing her will just like McCarthy did. We saw the horror, not everyone wanted to leave. This isn't some hypothetical moral dilemma from one of your dad's college lectures. This is clear cut. Right, sure, but how about the... <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. I don't need more Corso money for you right now. You don't have much left. It's the only thing you want from now. We can't sit and just wait here. You know. Even the married couple is disagreeing. We should go now, while we still can. MacArthur tried to simmer down the unrest between colonists, but Rosa fueled the fire even more to a full-blown uprising. Is this the reason no one survived? No one survived? We don't know the fate. We didn't see Isaac there. We need to know what happened to the Lunar Council people at the minimum. You want to leave? Ace. Oh Rosa. Ace. He made it here with Dad. He's leading us somewhere. Ayla, could it be? Do you think he would still be here? A second life among stars. Walk through fire among stars. People's dorm rooms. Book exchange. ASE. I would generally agree with Sarah though. Because MacArthur unilaterally decided everything himself basically. He didn't ask for anybody's input. Yeah, some people ended up agreeing with him, but he made everyone do this. And now we're at the point where both sides are trying to make the other side submit. It's all about the arcs too, because all the, the resources are in the arcs. Okay, I think we have a really big puzzle here. Playing cards. I saw some stream points. Movie night, Star Maker or Moon Man? No one wants to see Moon Man. Not this movie for the 1000th time. <laughs> Moon Man, the movie, March 8. March 8, like 20 million years ago. A lone astronaut is sent to the moon on a critical mission to save humanity from extinction. Oh, I can imagine why that wouldn't be a popular movie here. Well, this place is big. What's happening? Well, there's so many dorms, my gosh. There's so many. There might be like a phone on people's beds. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit careful in looking around. Marsman, issue number five, Revelations. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to with this, but whatever it is, you're going to have to do it without me. Why keep the hornet's nest, Con? Confidential? As the astronaut confronts the Martian Council with their atrocities, our hero receives support from all sides as Martians rally with him. They want to become human again. As the Council tries to elaborate on their ways and traditions, the shouts for freedom grow. Will the astronaut be able to save the people from tyranny? Mm. Yeah, they're trying to, trying to pass this off as an a innocent thing. It's not a comic though, this is... Yeah... Full out opposition. We just went all the way around. Yes, Ayla? Joyce to Yihan, 2063. But who sent the distress signal though? Somebody has to be alive here. I'm really, really ready to move out of Habitaz right now. Yeah, I know. Of course some people get their own rooms while we're stuck sleeping like sardines. Hajun's feet smell so bad. How am I supposed to sleep like this? Why are you even sleeping that way and not heads on the same side of the bunk? Get this, because she wants some privacy. Oh my god. 
Instead of making chill pills to distract us from the fact that housing is never gonna get built, they should at least invest in some deodorant. You sound like those homeward people. Yeah, maybe. I'll get that down. It's how it all starts. Living conditions. Sleeping next to someone's feet. That is kind of... not ideal. <laughs> Yo, cat, you're just gonna leave them? You're just gonna leave Ryan and Sarah here? Okay, we've made one full loop. Oh, there's a Ayla thingy there. How far can you go? Right. We have a dampener and we have a receptacle a receiver can I pick this up yes but I can't bring it out unless if I there's a glass here I think but we need to we probably need to get this out oh there's a thing across okay all right well we can start with that, I guess. Well, this is a huge puzzle. There's like 20 million things happening at the same time. Ace, wait! How'd he get in there? Damn. Doors are opening for him. Way in. Gotta make a note of this. Housing project sign-up station. The waiting list for housing was insane. People were years away from having their own space. Did they all sleep shoulder to shoulder here in the meantime? The answer is yes. Why do all this? They do all this, but they had to leave their family and friends behind. They do this for... the hope of humanity... to be able to... Um, live on. For a future generation. Hypothetically. Which, you know, honestly, that's a really selfless thing, but... In actuality, it's really tough. No, we don't need to go up again. We have to start one thing at a time. There's... These puzzles are way too big. Can I get across? Oh, these aren't... Yeah, there's a hologram inside. Can I just go down? I can't go down from here. What? And I can't go back up. What's my starting point? A splitter? A dampener? A... resistor? But there's nothing powering it. We need the thing across to power it. But we can't get to the thing across because it's locked up. Right, it's inside this room. So, we want to open that room. How do we accomplish that? There's only one- oh, here we go. On the other side. Right, now Ayla can go in. Okay, fantastic. Let's watch. Oh, I can't see that. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Well then, make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Arc Labos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parlay on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Outward? 
and want to thrive. The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now. We are leaving today, and we're taking the ARCs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Is that why Labos was off? Why? Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together. How is this happening? It's reached the boiling point. I hope they're okay. Dad tries to stop Rosa from inciting an all-out war, but MacArthur apparently shut off Ark Labos to force Homeward to dim down. But Rosa stays adamant that Homeward will go home. If Homeward goes home, the people going home by themselves, I think, you know, that's fine. But they want to take the arcs, and taking the arcs is going to cause resource problems. Even the people leaving, it might cause some labor shortage problems too. And seeing that hologram does make it seem more like, oh, you know, maybe we shouldn't be putting too much bank in Rosa too, because she is part of why this is happening. Okay, I'm going to go get the resistor. This might be pretty close to present day then, that hologram. Um... I actually can't leave with it. So what's the point of me... What's the point of this then? If I can't leave with it, there's no point. Why did I do this? There's gotta be a reason. And I guess I don't know what that reason is right now. Okay, we'll just... Oh, Ayla, you can open this one. Now there's a little bit too much. Right, and that's the whole point of why we want that resistor to come out to begin with. But how do I get the resistor coming out? These doors are shut, Ayla can go in. I can split. This is correct. This is the correct amount? Or is it a little bit too much? Can you change the beams, Ayla? No, Ayla can pick it up, but Ayla can't change the beams. There's a glass here, there's a glass here, that has too much. How do I open that door? Okay. Wow. I managed to move this a little bit so that it's just beyond the resistor. Which means this door is now openable. It's open. I can just... Take it out. Okay. Well, fantastic. I got one of them. But I'm pretty sure we need more than one. Yeah, that's enough for one. Alright. Which means we need to get the one that's on that side. How can I rescue it, though? I'm just trying to think here. Sure, okay, I can take it off, but... The eternal problem with this one is that I need a resistor in between that... for the door to open. But as soon as I take it off, then... it'll close. I need to think about this. Oh! Yeah, we need a dampener, but we can put a dampener right in front of this here and then go pick that one up. Ah. Wow, this one was a little bit tough. Ayla, if you can go inside and move it away. You can take it out! Entirely! Alright, fantastic! There we go. Now we have both of them. Uh, if I can bring this one down? Can I bring this one down? How do I bring it down? Just drop it? Is that a thing? Oh! Okay. Well, that works. Fantastic, then! Now we put... 
This one over here. And we should have it. Nice. Oh, that was complicated. Rosella Verd. Ace? The Lunar Council members had more space. Kind of arbitrarily. Everything is so heavily encrypted. When Ace met Ayla. What does that mean? Isaac, are you in the Panopticon with MacArthur? Isaac, please respond. Isaac, are you still alive? I'm sorry. It all came to this. Tell MacArthur to turn on. He suffocated them. He turned off the oxygen. Wow. But what did my dad do amongst all this? We have clearly Rosa's side. And MacArthur's side. What about Dad? Oh. Ace. I drew that. after all these years. Why didn't you tell us where you were going? I... I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Labos to stop Rosa and Homeward from activating the launch sequence. Then, I think... He shut off the oxygen from the entire colony. You've seen Isaac in these holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Labos from the bridge. We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead, Kathy. Everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. So, what do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 63754-N. Ownership transfer, Lunar Council override. Oh. 170544 
Isaac Johansson. Say your name. Say my... Ryan Delyanin. Kathy remember the whole sequence from when she was a kid. Well, this is new. Now we all have one. Kathy, align the dish with Arclavos. Seriously? Are you still alive? Rosa didn't make it. With her last breath, she tried to contact my dad to see if he was in the Panopticon. Was he there at the time that everyone... all of this happened? And we never got the Panopticon open. The Panopticon right there. Now, Kathy. I just want to have a look. Whoa, can we get a bit of a zoom in? This doesn't look like anything. This is from the Ark. The view from the Ark. It's done. Right. Ryan, conduct final checks, and then we're gone. On it. Sarah. What the? We're not leaving that easily, are we? Oh! Is that Ark Labos? Oh my god! No, we're not. We what can't be. I, 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 I did that on purpose. What? Sarah, no. Sarah. Our last way off the planet. Sarah, stop. There is stop. no way off. That was our stop. last way to go. Sarah, we stop are it. Not going stop home. it. Keep holding yourself. Don't you understand? Sarah. <laughs> I didn't do that, though. <laughs> this is the second time for Sarah um, getting stranded. <sighs> what happened? As far as we know, MacArthur and Isaac are still alive. We have no information that says otherwise. Did they do that? Ryan... I swear... I have no idea what happened. MPTs don't work like that. I couldn't have made it happen even if I wanted to. Not that I... wanted to, I, I yeah, just... I know. It looked like it got struck down. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs a... a second. Or two. Or a few hours. So... What now? How likely is it that the MPT dish can still be hooked up, do you think? Not very likely. So, there's a small chance. Well, we'd have to hope that the dish didn't take the brunt of the impact. And even if it didn't, it'd need to be in line of sight with Habitas, and I'd have to check all the transformers and converters yeah, and hope that I, they're I also intact. I think it's the last bit of hope we have. 
I, um... I can't leave Sarah like this. But I can take your lead on this from here. Okay. Cat? We're counting on you. For Kathy, that's another chance for us to um, find out about my dad. Oh my god, though. Yeah, the whole time we did have a way of going home, hooking up the MPT, but now... Now we don't. This is so traumatic for Sarah, holy crap. <laughs>